Hello YouTube family, this is Esther coming to you today again with another recipe. Uh, today we're going to be making banana loaf and this is uh, an inspiration that I got on Instagram from my girl Chef Nyasha Mangwiro. You can go check her out. Um, so for this uh, I'm going to be tweaking it to my liking. I'm not going to be following the exact measurements that she used. Because you know when you're cooking you always want to um, tailor the recipes to your taste and to your lifestyle so I'm going to be using two cups of flour half a cup of uh, sugar she uses one cup half a cup of oil she uses three quarter cup one cup of uh, kefir and she uses uh, one cup of milk and three medium bananas three eggs one teaspoon of uh, baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda and i'm going to be using also um half a teaspoon of salt i forgot to add it over here but i'm going to be bringing it up soon and i also like to put some raisins whenever i can i soak my raisins in um in some rum and um i like the taste that it gives to my baked uh, goods uh, especially loaves and uh, she uses one baking loaf and i use two for the reason you know to separate because uh, one of my children does not like raisins in anything so i'll split um my mixture and put one with the raisins and one without so now I'm just mashing my bananas with a fork. Okay, so here is my uh, three bananas mashed up. I've also um, cracked up my eggs and whisked them together. So now, um, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees Celsius whilst I continue to prepare everything so I'm, what I'm going to do is to add the dry ingredients together in this bowl and then uh, the wet ingredients in here and then whilst I'm, when I'm done then I'm going to be adding my dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and folding them together so I've added my sugar to the wet ingredients even though it's a dry ingredient for uh, because I want it to melt in the dry ingredients I'm uh, sorry in the wet ingredients it's a little difficult if I just put it to the flour and then add it into here um, I don't want to end up you know biting onto undissolved sugar so I'm just going to mix it in here really good it doesn't take too long to dissolve um, in the wet ingredients and uh, I said uh, 350 degrees Celsius actually meant Fahrenheit for preheating my oven so I put my salt uh, in this teaspoon so I'm going to add it to my dry ingredients and then I'm gonna put um, one teaspoon of the baking powder one teaspoon of the baking soda into the dry ingredients as well as uh, grate I don't have powder cinnamon so I'm just, I'm just gonna grate this cinnamon stick and um, put it inside about a teaspoon as well or you can do half depending on you know how much you like cinnamon or not now that my dry ingredients are mixed together and my wet ingredients are mixed together but not yet joined together I'm going to grease my baking pans here I'm just using the oil that I have in the house and that's olive oil you can use any oil of your choice So another thing that I grew up doing with my banana bread was uh, zesting an orange 
just for that citrus flavor so you can also do that um, with any ingredient or recipe I'm sorry with any recipe that anybody gives you always tweak it to your own liking always try to um, make it your own and do what you know suits you and what you prefer because a recipe is always a guide not you know the final um, thing that everybody has to follow it just guides you so this is a trick that somebody told me they said um, you should preheat your baking trays in the oven for at least two minutes so I'm just going to put them in the oven right now whilst I'm finishing off mixing my ingredients and then take it off let it uh, rest for a minute and then put in my ingredient uh, sorry my mixed uh, banana bread mix so now the flour is in here I'm just gently folding it in there is one ingredient that I forgot to use that was just gonna mess my recipe up for myself because I love vanilla extract so I just put um, a tablespoon of it and I'm just going to mix it into my ingredients here you don't have to put it if you don't have it but I love to add it in like I said always tweak the recipe to your liking all right, so I've taken my uh, loaf pans from the oven and they've rested for one minute and my uh, banana loaf mixture is done. And you see why I use two loaves? It's like almost full. So putting it in one, I don't want to end up uh, with uncooked uh, loaf. That's why I do it this way. So half of the mixture is in the loaf uh, tin and then now I've added my raisins. I didn't add all of them because they were quite uh, too many. You just want to have, you know, little bites here and there. You don't want to saturate it with the raisins. And now I'm just going to put it into the other uh, loaf pan. And now onto into the oven, my banana loaf mixture goes. I'm just putting it in the center and bake it for at least uh, 35 minutes or until your knife comes out clean and it's nice and golden brown. Wow, it looks good, Mommy. Yeah, it does. Uh, so our banana bread is uh, ready. Let's uh, just get a knife. See, it's coming out clean. I'm just going to give it uh, maybe one more minute just for it to brown a little bit more and then take it out. All right, so I'm going to take it out of the oven now. If you have a cooling rack, you can put it on top of the cooling rack so that it cools off before you start cutting it. So you can tell that it's done when it's nice and bouncy like that. It's so hot right now, it's just coming off from the oven. Look at that. Yeah, so I'll let it cool off. And then, uh, bon appetit. Please don't forget to Prescribe, uh, sorry to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video so that I can continue to create more content for you. Love you family. Bye.